Hello everyone. My name is Asma Channa and I'm an early stage researcher under Mary Curie Actions Innovative Training Network Project named AWIR. And I'm currently doing my double PhD from University Politecnica of Bucharest and University Mediterranean of Reggio Calabria, Italy. And our today's research topic is machine learning algorithms for posture identification of obstructive sleep apnea patients using IoT solutions. Let's first move towards the outline. Um, I will first start with the introduction. Irregular breathing among individuals is a serious sleep disorder referred as sleep apnea. The symptoms of sleep apnea are snoring, fatigue, and somnolence. The main types of sleep apnea are obstructive sleep apnea, central sleep apnea, and complex sleep apnea. Among these, obstructive sleep apnea is most common and can be treated by adjusting sleeping postures. Internet of Things solutions play a very important role in addressing sleep apnea with proper monitoring of sleeping postures and adjusting in, time, in timely manner. Sleep apnea threats a sudden cause of death to people with heart disease. Researchers recommend date that people with serious respiratory disorders should avoid sleeping in supine positions. It has also been reported that 75 to 80 percent of cases remains undiagnosed because of expenses and people avoiding spending long hours in labs. So the main objective is of this study is to monitor sleeping postures or participants using IoT-based pressure matrix. Pressure mate is designed with total 2048 pressure sensor points with a scan date of 372 sensors per second. And the dimension of the matrix is 32 by 64 inch. Each sensor is one inch apart from other and all the sensors, sensors are equally distributed. The prime goal is to avoid the supine sleep position using objective measurements. Our study is divided into different sections. Section three addresses the data setup and collection from participants. Section four illustrates the basic methodology we adopted. And finally, section five addresses the conclusion and later future directions. Um, this is the data collection and the detail uh, for this study. The data was collected under IRP approval in University of Texas at Dallas from 13 participants in different postures. All the 13 participants study were healthy with no history of sleeping problems. From the table, you can see the detail of the 13 participants in age, height, and weight. Two types of matrix were used to conduct two different experiments on 13 participants. And the basic methodology that we adopted is First, we collect the data using the pressure mate and we pre-process it and uh, we did the data labeling and move towards the classification procedure and uh, then the posture monitoring. The main focus of this study is to find best or correct in bed posture for sleep apnea patients. For classifying the standard posture from label data, we use classification learner app of MATLAB software. And the basic standard posture considered in the experiment are these, that is supine left right fetus and left right journal. And in experiment number one, we consider these five standard postures for the finding out the postures of E patient. And in methodology of second experiment, uh, we asked eight participants to participate. And this time the data was collected from ear matrix and different posture with different role angles were counted to see the difference in classification models. The results we achieved for the experiment number one, uh, in which different supervised machine learning algorithms were used. And we find out that each algorithm gives a very good accuracy, mostly in 90s. And uh, this table shows uh, the accuracy of all machine learning classifiers for posture detection of each participant. And uh, among these classifiers, uh, machine learning algorithms, weighted KNN and linear classifier gave promising results with the accuracy of 98.7%. 
In experiment number two, uh, the result of the posture detection using air matrix shows uh, these accuracies. And uh, from the table, we can realize that uh, the accuracy of these algorithms of the air matrix is very uh, lesser than the one uh, in the experiment number one. And uh, this shows that uh, um, the matrix also uh, matters uh, in finding out the proper, in finding and detecting the posture for the subjects. And uh, these are the results that we obtained from the experiment number one with a good accuracy. And uh, the first table, uh, first plot shows the number of observation of model. And uh, the rows show the true class and columns show the predicted class. And the diagonal emphasize where the true class and predicted class match. The blue boxes in diagonals depicts that the classifier has made classifications and the observation of this true class are classified correctly. And the plot, B shows true positive rates and false negative rates of predicted model. The true positive rate is proportion of correctly classified observations per a true class. And false negative rate is a proportion of incorrectly classified observation per true class. And the plot C shows positive productive values and false discovery rates of predicted model. Positive productive values is the proportion of correctly classified observation per predicted class and false discovery rates is the proportion of incorrectly predicted points in each class. Um, the figure four shows the parallel coordinate plots. Uh, the H uh, plot shows predicted model in range scaling and B shows predicted model in right scaling and the crosses shows the incorrect predictions here. So this is the conclusion of our study. This research deal with the different postures and highlighted the most common posture associated with multiple health issues, such as sleeping on a supine position. In this research, the available data has been labeled and after pre-processing, we ran it through multiple algorithms with the help of classification learner app in MATLAB in order to monitor sleep posture successfully with high accuracy rates. This research proves that with slight improvisation in sleeping pattern, one can avoid several health risks. The type of matrix does matter in detecting postures. In future, we also aim to build a system which not only can monitor sleeping posture, but also is capable of tracking records of heart rate to avoid the risk of heart failures while sleeping. In the end, we also, uh, uh, we all authors are gratefully acknowledge funding from European Union Horizon 2020 Research Innovative Program and the Mary Curie Grant Agreement uh, of Area Project. And these are some references of our research study. Thank you so much.